I'd like to say this event came about because of the mistreatment and exclusion of Afro hair. This has been happening for a really long time and hair bias is all around us in everyday life. Afro hair does not have equal value yet in society. Millions of people of African descent struggle to see the beauty and value of their own natural hair type. Millions struggle how to care for their own natural hair type. Millions struggle to see how their original hair type fits into society. But thankfully, we all believe, and we hope you believe, that together we can change this through World Afro Day. We aim to turn struggle into celebration. Celebration of your wonderful hair type. Afro hair type is creative and it's exceptional. And we invite everyone to join us. I have some good news. I have Ooh. some good news. We are all part of a world record for the world's largest educational hair lesson. Let's bring up uh, Woo! Michelle and Michelle. Estelle. I learned that Afro hair is natural and that everybody should celebrate it. I learned that people with Afro hair shouldn't relax their hair or some of their hair will break. If people make fun of your hair, ignore them because your hair is the best and make sure you think that your hair is the best. I used to use relaxer on my hair, but then um, my mum cut my hair like incredibly short for it to grow natural again. The more happy you are with your hair, the more confident you are and that you should like your hair no matter what. I wanted to be involved in World Afro Day because I thought it was incredibly important to shed light on diverse hair types. So I think to be able to have a day that's wrapped around celebrating natural hair, especially Afro hair, is important. I found the day to be wonderful, especially because the kids are able to feel appreciated, the ones out there that had natural hair. I think that when I was a kid, it would have been nice to have something like this because I would have felt more accepted when it comes to the way that my hair is. Um, so I think that kind of giving that lesson to kids while they're young really makes the process easier in terms of acceptance. The children really appreciated the level of education about hair science and understanding the nature of African hair and how to look after it. I think we've had some very good uh, motivational speakers and really addressing the uh, historical concept of African hair not being good enough and not being professional. So I think it's all in all been a very positive day, uh, very sort of uniting uh, and very empowering. I became involved in World Afro Day because I wanted to be a part of something that's going to raise the self-esteem, particularly in our young people, so that we can celebrate Afro hair. I've done events like this before, but never so much with so many young people. And I think just getting that message through, I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. It was really enjoyable, it was really inspirational. There was lots of different speakers for different things. I really enjoyed sort of looking out across the road to see how much the children were engaging in it and the smiles on their faces. Even when it wrapped, the first thing they wanted to do was jump out of their seats and meet the people that had spoken with them. They just wanted to ask more questions and find out more. And it's, it's just really nice to see them care about something so much. We've got quite a mixed culture, mixed ethnicity within school. We just thought it was quite exciting to have an event that appealed to a different culture, different ethnicity, you know, lots of our black African parents were really excited to think that their children were attending an event where Afro hair was being celebrated and they would learn more about it. Uh, and equally all the other parents from all our different cultures were really excited to come along and join in this fantastic event. I thought it was really educational and I think a lot of young people need to see this and to be proud and happy with the hair that they've got and the beauty that they've got. When we first heard about this, it was very clear early on that it was all about sort of empowering kids especially to learn about their hair and how it works. And, you know, Record Setter is all about uh, kind of digging down and finding what you can be the world's best in. And I think that there's a lot of overlap in terms of how we look at the world. And uh, it just seemed like a really natural thing for us to want to get involved with. World Afro Day, I mean, was a no-brainer for me. When Michelle de Leon sent us an email, it was like, how can I help? When can I be involved? And what can I do to make this, amplify this message? I just really wanted to get involved and I'm happy to be here to talk about it. It's been extraordinary. The energy in the room, the questions from the students, the engagement, the sincere engagement in these issues from the speakers as well as the audience 
uh, has been really important. What stands out to me about the day is how important, how critical it is for all of us to assemble uh, together and share our experiences and share our knowledge and just to be supportive of each other. So that's what is surprisingly wonderful. It was about um, being proactive and talking about um, the hair of people of African descent and letting children know that it was really important to love your hair and to love yourself. Uh, and I was really drawn to that positive message. I think for the same reasons that Michelle was, was decided to do this day, not only for myself and for people who are experiencing discrimination, but also for my own children and particularly my daughter. I think organizations like World Afro Day are very essential uh, to educating the, the entire world about um, the, the beauty of natural hair and also to try to dispel any types of myths and negative stereotypes and associations with twists, locks, braids, and afros. I wanted to get involved in World Afro Day because my goal in life is to educate as many people as I can on owning themselves with their hair natural in its natural state. My motto has always been self-love equals hair love. So when I found out about World Afro Day, I wanted to sign up immediately and I'm just glad that I'm here to be a part of it. It was amazing, the crowd participation. The hands that shot up for all the Q&As was amazing. We couldn't even get to everyone because we ran out of time, but I just I just remember just seeing a sea of heads and afros shaking up and down like this, clapping. It was for me just a beautiful sight to just see so much people engaged, excited, and wanting to be a part of this movement and this day. when I heard the concept of World Afro Day, I just thought that it was a really great concept. I think that it's so important, not just for our generation, but also for future generations, younger people, that they see examples of us really loving ourselves and loving the hair that grows out of our heads. I think it's extremely important for our young women to be technically educated about their hair so they can start from a very early age to understand how to make their hair work for them, but I also think it's beautiful for them to really be affirmed in their identity and to understand that there's nothing wrong with the hair that naturally grows out of their head. And there are other women who think they're beautiful as well as their family members. And so I think there were two parts to today, getting them technically educated, but also affirming who they are. I hope that it becomes an annual event on the 15th of September every year and that um, it's celebrated and acknowledged around the world. I hope that more institutions, be them educational or workplaces, get behind the initiative and help to change attitudes towards unconscious and conscious bias. I just want to say thank you very much for inviting me to the event and for organising um, such a brilliant event. And it, I, personally, I think it was a very, very great success. And um, I was also able to um, ensure that my friends in other countries, especially in Tanzania, and also my other friend in, who is a blogger in the US, on us today as well. So it's not just something that's happening here in London today, it's something that's happening globally and hopefully with time everyone will celebrate the day as we've done today. I'm so excited to be here. I think I'm even more excited that I'm here on the first one because the first means many more to come. And I know first-handedly the hardest step in life is to make the first one happen. And we've done it, we're here, we've brought the world record. It's all about amplification and how we're gonna to continue to strengthen this message. So I look forward to seeing you guys next year.